Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can create a button in Excel that's going to allow you to trigger a flow in Power Automate. So in this example, we're going to create a button that we can place somewhere around here. And it's going to allow us to send this data by email to someone. So to do this, let's head over to Microsoft Flow. So if we head over to flow.microsoft.com, and we can create a new flow for this. And what we want is we want to create an instant cloud flow. So let's select that. And we're just going to name this something like send data. And here in the options, if we scroll down, there is an option here that we want when an HTTP request is received. Now, just a quick note, this trigger here is a premium option in Power Automate. So this is going to require a premium license in Power Automate to achieve. So just be aware of that. Let's select that and create our flow. And let's expand this out. And under the advanced options, we have method here and we want to select a get method for this. Up here, we have the HTTP URL and that's gonna be generated after we save. So let's come back to that in a bit. Now, first uh, we're going to get our data from Excel. So we're gonna use the Excel online for business connector, and we're gonna list the rows present in a table. Now, in order for this to work, you have to have your Excel workbook saved in either SharePoint or OneDrive. So I've got mine saved in OneDrive. So I'm going to navigate to that. And it's in a demo folder here. And it was called Excel flow button. And once you have your file selected, you can select from the tables in the file. So I've got a table called sales. And now we have some advanced options here, but I want to get all the data. So I don't need to filter it or take the top count. So I'm gonna leave everything in there blank. And now in order to get this data and send it as a table in an email, what we first need to do is convert this into an HTML table. So HTML is going to allow us to render this data as a table inside of an email. And there's an action for that in here. So there's an action, create HTML table. And we're gonna create that table from our list of items from our Excel data. Now in the advanced options here, uh, we have an option for columns and we can choose those automatically or some custom selection. Let's just stick with automatic and see what happens. And after we create our HTML table, we're going to send this in an email. So let's look for our Outlook email connector. And then we're gonna send an email. And I'm just going to send this to myself in this example, but we could have this dynamic, so it could be sent to various people that you choose. And let's just call this sales as the subject. And then let's put in our output from our HTML table action. Now, when we save this for the first time, that is going to generate this URL. So let's save this. And we'll see that URL appear and we can copy that. And now actually, if we navigate to that URL, we're gonna get a blank uh, browser page here. But that's going to trigger our flow for us. So if I head over to my emails, we're gonna see that email appear here. And our automatic selection of columns has these two extra internal columns from Power Automate. So we just want these. So we are gonna adjust our HTML table action here. So instead of automatic, let's choose custom. And then here we're gonna have the region and the column header will be region. And then the second column, we're gonna have sales 
and we're going to call that sales. Let's save that. And again, let's try this again. So let's just hit refresh here. And now our table is just the region and sales. So that looks good. Let's go back to our flow. And again, let's copy this and let's head back to Excel and turn this into a button. So how we are going to create a button is if we go to the insert tab, we are going to use a shape for this. And let's just draw out our shape. And with the shapes, you can right click on it and there's an option to add a link. And so we're going to paste in that link from Power Automate. Now with our shape selected, we can also go to the shape format tab and choose a format for our shape. And if I double click in there, I can also add some text and select that text and let's go to the home tab and just increase that font and center it. And then it looks a little bit more like a button. Now, if I hold the alt key, I can also size this pretty easily and have it fit to the grid. So it's going to snap to grid when I'm holding the alt key. And now let's try this out. So if we click on this, it's going to go to that link. And that's going to trigger our flow. So there you go. That's how you can build your own buttons in Excel that are going to allow you to trigger a flow in Power Automate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.